Hey, hey, Bo, it's been quite some time. It's good to see you, buddy. We're gonna have fun today here in Hollywood Land. And even though it's not the real Hollywood Land, it's a close second here in my heart. And today here at Disney's Hollywood Studios, we're gonna be hanging out over at the former home of the Animation Courtyard. Not sure exactly what they call this area nowadays, but it used to be called the Animation Courtyard. And the reason the entrance to the Animation Courtyard looked like this with the Disney's Hollywood Studios sign up there, it used to say the Disney MGM Studios, was because this was the old entrance to the Backlot Tour. So if you took the backstage Backlot Tour here at Disney MGM Studios, you would be walking through the arches like you would a normal studio. So they had it set up and the arches are still here since 1989. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of my kid. Today we're going to be hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We're going to be taking a closer look at the former home of the original entrance to the backstage backlot studio tour here at Disney MGM Studios that opened May 1st, 1989 and then transformed into the magic of Disney animation and that was open until July 12th, 2015 and now it is the current home of the Star Wars Launch Bay. We're gonna be traveling around inside. I've got a few photos. We're gonna be matching up some spots and talking about a little bit of the history of that building. Looking forward to it. Hope you guys are excited. I'm excited. Let's take a closer look. Let's take a closer look. So straight ahead is the now Star Wars Launch Bay. Previously, it was the magic of Disney animation and then before that it was the entrance to the Disney MGM backstage tour a tour all around the back lot area of the Disney MGM studios as you can see in this photo they've added a lot of changes to this area now that it's the Star Wars launch bay but those two little cylinder things I don't know what you would call those little cylinder architecture style pieces of the building are still here but the Star Wars launch bay sign has completely made this thing look totally different in my opinion and now I'm going to show you guys a photo of what this looked like when it was the magic of Disney animation in that photo you can see those two little pillars are still there but it had Mickey on top of that mountain from Fantasia and they added a little bit of color. I think it looked a lot better at the Magic of Disney Animation from when it was the Disney MGM Studios backstage studio tour. But now with Star Wars, the color scheme has kind of gone a little bleak, a little, a little plain, not as many bright colors. It's more fitting of, of Star Wars. Yeah, this place has definitely seen some changes, but the overall architecture of the building is exactly the same, which is really neat to see because that's kind of a time capsule in my opinion but it's hard to think that you would start the backstage tour the studio tour inside this building here later on the studio tour would be over near the streets of america with the backlot tour but this was the original location now and that tour back in the day would take a good chunk of your visit here at disney's hollywood studios it was almost a half day tour I'm not kidding. It was a very, very long tour, and then later on they ended up shortening it and made, making it what we knew as the backstage tour over by the Streets of America. But if you did the original tour, I'm sure you remember, it took a good chunk of your visit here at Disney's MGM Studios at the time. And then right over here was the Magic of Disney Animation sign. You can see the bench in the far distance is still here in the photo. Let me zoom in and try and get it as close as I possibly can. That's where the sign with Mickey and the film strip sat for a very, very long time. Now it's been removed. And then right here on this wall, you can see there used to be a sign that said Disney character meet and greet entrance. And then when you walked in this area, there was no Star Wars. There used to be pictures of old Disney animated films, kind of some rough sketches, some concept art. But now as you can see, it's turned into Star Wars, but I distinctly remember a Peter Pan picture over here somewhere. And over in this area, if you look, those are offices from the old animation building as well. 
they animated a lot of films right over there in that building. But let's continue our journey. Now straight ahead, there used to be those famous handprints right over there. There were three of them. And they were a few of the men from Walt's Nine Old Men. And one of the handprints was of Mr. Ward Kimball. You can see exactly where they used to stand, or lay, rather, I should say. But I believe right here was where Ward Kimball's handprint used to sit. You can see in the photo, he, he signed his name May 1st, 1989, opening day. And he drew a little picture of Mickey right there and actually put a little arrow with the initials M.M. for Mickey Mouse. I was told that those handprints had been moved to the Burbank studio out in California. And right here is where this photo was taken. You can see it used to say Disney Classics Theater on that sign. But the overall look of this place hasn't changed. But to the right over here is where you can actually see artists drawing animated photos of Disney characters. In fact, right down here is where this photo was taken of some artist's office. That was their office right down there. And now it houses props from Star Wars Episode One. But down there is exactly where this photograph was taken. And this room has changed a good bit. There used to be a sign over to the far right where it says Star Wars with production gallery. You can still see the exit sign is exactly where it's supposed to be. And check it out, those little glass housing display cases have had a overhaul of Star Wars to them, but there used to be one of those glass display cases in here way back in the day. So as you would walk through here, you could look down and see artist working on some kind of animated film. You never knew what you were going to see or who or what they would be drawing. It's kind of crazy. That used to be someone's office. And if you look very closely, right down there, that's the door. So that would be their door that they would walk in to get to their office. You can see it's being covered up by the scrim right now, but that was their office door right there. And right here is exactly where this photo was taken, you can see it used to have the archway just like outside with the Disney's Hollywood Studios logo on it. And this is where Sorcerer Mickey would meet guests for a long time. The wheelchair ramp is still here. That's where that guy in the photo was standing. He was leaning against that wheelchair ramp straight ahead. But now this is the queue to meet some Star Wars characters. But right against that wall over there was where Mickey Mouse used to meet. Now this area has completely changed. I remember walking up and you could like paint or do something for an animated cell over here. You like painted your own photograph. They used to have like these little computer things set up against this wall. And I remember right before this place closed, Ralph and Penelope from Wreck-It Ralph used to meet right over here. So much has changed in this area. So back in the day when you would do the backstage tour here, you watched a short film called The Lottery with Bette Midler. Then later on, you were greeted with a film starring Walter Cronkite and Robin Williams, and it was called Back to Neverland. And it would be shown to guests all the way up to September of 2003. And basically what they did was they showed you the different stages of Disney animation, and they actually made Robin Williams one of the Lost Boys from Neverland, from the Peter Pan movie. It was really cool. I got to see it a couple of times as a kid, and then around 2003 is when they stopped showing that portion of the tour. So you wouldn't be able to really tell with how much they've completely changed this place now as this is the Star Wars launch bay. But let me tell you something. This used to be the area where you would wait in line to do the Animation Academy. And in fact, right up here somewhere was a pillar back in the day. And that's where this sign and photograph was taken. Now it's completely changed and this is where you would meet BB-8 from the Star Wars films. And straight ahead here is exactly where this photograph was taken. As you can see, it used to say Animation Gallery, and that's exactly what this was. It was a gallery of all kinds of animated cells, concept art, and final products for Disney animated films. Take a look at the floor. The floor has not changed at all. So this is exactly the same display case. They've just added 
this portion to it to make it look a little bit more Star Wars, but the way it goes around and all the different sides are exactly like it was in the photo. And to be honest with you, it's kind of the same concept in here. It's all about animation. It's just Star Wars. See, they're still showing concept art and these are the acrylic layered designs from Star Wars. And then you have some fan art type things. So it's pretty much kind of the same concept. It's just not Disney animated films. It's all about Star Wars. And right here is where this photo was taken. Take a look at the ceiling first. You see how the, the ceiling has those different layers. They've just been repainted and that pillar is pretty much, if you move the camera right there, that's about the spot where this photograph was taken. And to the left, the cash register is still here. But this is where you could actually buy and take home Disney animated cells and photographs and artwork and all kinds of good stuff. And let me tell you, I used to buy a lot of stuff in that store right there because I love Disney animation. More on the side of the posters that you could buy here for the attractions. I used to buy and collect all the different attraction posters that they would sell here at the parks. And inside this building, I spent a lot of money on those old attraction posters. Who would have thought way back in 1989 when you were standing in line to go and see the Backlot Tour that one day this would be walking through where you would be waiting in line? Because this is exactly where the line was to get in. Nowadays, this is what's happening over here. And if you're curious, this opened May 1st, 1989 with the Backlot Backstage Disney MGM Studio Tour. And then July 12th, 2015, this closed to make way for the Star Wars Launch Bay. And you can still call this the animated courtyard. I mean, it's still all about animation. This is the Disney Junior Dance Party, which as you guys know, Disney Junior is the number one spot for Disney animated TV shows. And then right across the way here, they're promoting the Star Wars Resistance TV show, an animated TV show. And there's also the Voyage of the Little Mermaid, a live action show that's been here for a very, very long time. But that's, that's another animated film that's being portrayed here in the animated, in the former home of the animation courtyard. But the only thing pertaining to back in the day of the studio or the backstage tour or anything is the studio store here. I love this store. I'm surprised they have not changed it. The, the colors, the fact that it says studio and it looks like the back lot tour, it's pretty awesome. And here inside the studio tour, as you can see, it's still all about animation in here. You can see the cells, but they're talking about the new age of Disney animation from Disney Junior with Jake and Everland Pirates, the Mickey and the Roadster Racers, all kinds of new Disney animation for a whole new generation. But don't worry, they still pay tribute to the classics. And right behind this building was the former home of the animation building where they used to actually make animated films. I'm going to show you guys two spots in the park where you can still see that old building. When you're heading into Toy Story Land, look to the right, and right over here in the distance you can see the building. Inside that building they made tons of Disney animated films, including Ink and Paint for The Little Mermaid, two of the three Who Framed Roger Rabbit spin-off cartoons, Roller Coaster Rabbit and Trail Up Mix, the Be Our Guest sequence from Beauty and the Beast, all kinds of films were either touched up or animated or painted or something inside that building. And right over here, check out this building. It says Roy O. Disney Production Center. Well, April 22nd, 1998, the same day that Disney's Animal Kingdom opened, Roy O. Disney was talking about this production center, an expanded production center opening over here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. And the sign is still here. Inside that building now is one man's dream, but at one point that was the Roy O. Disney Production Center and I'm sure you could walk in this way or this might have been a part of the backstage area for the Backlot Tour. Right over here on Sunset Boulevard behind the Sunset Ranch Market you can see the animation building right back there. Pretty cool man. Just think like Brother Bear, Mulan, tons of Disney animated films were worked on in that very building. Well, you guys, 
I think we did it. I think we found everything we wanted to find here today. And I think it's time to say goodbye. Hey, if you like this episode, please give me a big thumbs up. If you would like to support my channel, please visit my Patreon page at patreon.com slash world of Micah. We're donating $1 a month can help fund episodes just like this. If you haven't yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button because, hey, it's free and it will keep you updated with my latest video. Please feel free to comment below and share some of your favorite memories of the Backlot Studio Tour or the animation building back when it was focused on the magic and the art of Disney animation. I'll see you in the next episode of World of Mike, everybody. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye.